Alrighty, I got, um, it's not a construction update, but I'm going to talk to you guys in depth about what's going on at Canada's Wonderland right now as it's really important information. So I've done some deep diving and I've gotten some um, really accurate information on exactly what is happening. Um, and the good news is it 100% is suggesting, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a launch coaster is coming to Canada's Wonderland, although we all kind of knew that. Um, but what's uh, currently going on is let's dive deep, okay? So first of all, um, I can confirm that the four of these groups are currently on property at Canada's Wonderland working on this project. So you have Bros Group, Electra, Hartwell, which has been working on site with Canada's Wonderland for a while, and Smith and & Long, who also has a long-standing relationship with Canada's Wonderland. Um, essentially, uh, Smith and Long is the group working on the super capacitor um, side of things. Hartwell is working on the basic electric needs of the park. Um, and Electra, did I, sorry, I meant Hartwell is working on the basic electric needs. Electra was the people that came in and cut the power to the city, from the city to Wonderland on this half of the park. And Bros Group is the managing group that is going to be running the tests of the electrical grid at Canada's Wonderland for the new attraction. So really interesting information there. Um, essentially, I can confirm the power has been cut to half of the park. So if you drive by the highway, even today, Saturday, you'll notice the highway sign is not on. The power has been cut. This is going to be the way I, from my understanding, for about a week, a couple days to a week, as they work to upgrade what they call supercapacitors. Essentially, um, what a supercapacitor is, is it's a unit that stores power and then can charge and release that power very rapidly. So, for example, a ride like Maverick um, can charge uh, in about 20 seconds between launches. Um, so that's really cool. That's essentially like the main key sign that this is a launch coaster that Wonderland is working on. And uh, it'll be really interesting to see where the other capacitors get installed. So they're going to be installing capacitors outside the park at that um, that unit right where it connects to the city power. And there should be some that get built right at the ride. So that leads me to think that this is kind of the area that we will see those just maybe inside the mountain. So we won't be able to get to see that. But um, we have heard that the current thing being built there is um, one of the launches or launch buildings. So... It'll be interesting to see if that ends up being true. Now, this leads me to the whole topic of discussion. What kind of a launch coaster would Canada's Wonderland be looking at? We know Canada's Wonderland was surveying about a wing coaster, a launched wing. And I do have a feeling, again, this is just speculation, that the wing coaster was garbaged, essentially. And that Wonderland was looking for more of a high thrill attraction. Or at least I hope. I really hope this doesn't end up being a family launch coaster inside the mountain, um, knock on wood, but I do have a feeling that Wonderland was seeking something to break the record. So for those of you that don't know, um, Thunderbolt at PE Playland uh, is being built for this year, 2024, um, and its max speed is 72 kilometers an hour, whereas Backlot Sun Coasters is about 65 kilometers an hour. So Canada's Wonderland is, of course, going to want to take back um, the launch coaster record um, in Canada, especially. So it'll be interesting. Um, what kind of a launch speed they go with. Now, obviously, we all hope that they go 120, 130, um, but they very well may not. Um, it depends how large of a layout this is. But things are suggesting this is going to be a pretty large layout. You have essentially two paths of speculated travel. So again, keywords, speculated travel. You have the Alpen area, which has shown, sh shown, sh bleh, shown some signs of action. And then you have the area heading towards Extreme Skyflyer that has shown very little signs of action outside of Extreme Skyflyer being removed. Now, I do want to touch on that. Extreme Skyflyer is being removed and uh, the park is going to elaborate a little bit more on that in a video that should be coming out any week now. And uh, essentially, um, what I can confirm is the park wouldn't be removing Extreme Sky Flyer for a flat ride uh, that would be coming in 2026. They would have removed this at the end of 2024 or 2025. Um, so I definitely think that this does point towards some sort of relevance towards the 2025 coaster. But again, this project is one of the most confusing projects I've covered, 
But again, with that being also said, I haven't covered that many projects out of Yukon Striker and Snoopy's Racing Railway. Um, and again, the mountain does have a huge play in that. And then me not knowing much about launch coasters also has a huge play in that. But altogether, I definitely think things are pointing towards a really exciting addition. Um, and the more I see, the more excited I'm getting. So I just wanted to talk to you guys directly about what exactly we are looking at in terms of the electrical grid and supercapacitors being upgraded at Canada's Wonderland and why that's a really good sign. So I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments section. What kind of launch coaster would you be most excited about coming to Canada's Wonderland? Whatever one you want. Throw out the budget. What kind of launch coaster would you love to see at Canada's Wonderland? Down below in the comments section. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. Just wanted to talk to you guys quickly about what is happening at the park. And thank you so much for supporting the construction updates. Have a good one, guys. Bye.